So there was this article in Bloomberg magazine and on the news website, it talked about this 37 year old man, Chinese man in the countryside who had this headache and he went to a rural country doctor who injected him with Chinese herbs, like an injection style, which they do in China. And over the next few hours, other villagers saw this man trying to prop himself up and hold himself up. And then within a few hours, he was dead. Now, whenever you hear one of these articles about something regarding alternative medicine, it can really make you worry and wonder if these things are safe. None the least being Chinese herbs, because you've probably heard of the worst aspects of it from some slam piece about using rhino horn or using tiger penises. But in this video, I wanna share some very, very important information about the danger and the safety of Chinese herbs, as well as comparing them to conventional care. Hey, it's Dr. Alex Hein, author of the health book, Master the Day. So I've included a free download below this video. Now that free download is gonna be on this case study of a man named Li Ching Yun, who had these five daily rituals he did every day that were said to have given him a very, very unusually long life. Now, I think they're great pieces of advice, so I've included it, the first link below in this download for you. So the million dollar question is, of course, do Chinese herbs have side effects? Now I did a little Google search to see what people are actually looking up and to see what people are wondering about when it comes to these herbs. So bear with me for a sec. Can Chinese herbs be harmful? The answer is yes. Can Chinese herbs cause diarrhea? The answer is yes. Can Chinese herbs cause liver damage? Yes. Can Chinese herbs help you get pregnant? Yes. Can Chinese herbs make you sick? Yes. Can Chinese herbs cause dizziness or stomach pain? The answer to all of these things is yes. So Chinese herbs do have side effects, as does every other medical intervention that has the potential to work. So the following question is, are Chinese herbs actually safe? I mean, if they have these side effects that I just listed, are they safe? I think a very, very important discussion to be had here is that any medical intervention that has the possibility to help has the possibility to cause harm and that the strength of the intervention is correlated with the strength of the potential side effect. So a great example of this in conventional care is chemotherapy which has the potential to make your cancer go away, but has some of the most damaging side effects you can find anywhere in conventional medicine, short of and including death. I mean, I see a lot of cancer patients. I also worked on an oncology shift in Providence Hospital in Portland, Oregon. And one of the most consistent things I saw was long lasting, permanent, lifelong damage to basically every organ in the body as a result of chemotherapy or radiation. Now that is just because it is corresponding to the strength of the intervention. It's a very, very toxic intervention that can help and can cause harm. And the crazy thing is that Chinese herbs are literally no different. Chinese herbs have been used for millennia, documented for three, four, 5,000 years to even treat acute and serious illnesses like tuberculosis or pneumonia or cardiac conditions. And so the fact that they have strong enough biochemistry that they can successfully treat some of these conditions means given wrongly or given to a patient that doesn't need them, they can do really serious damage. Now there's something that's very important we also need to discuss. Everything in medical care is about risk and reward ratio. This may cause damage, but is the good that it can help the patient with? Does that outweigh the potential harm? This is a fundamental question in any kind of form of medicine all throughout the world. So there was a really, really interesting paper that came out from Johns Hopkins from one specific physician. And it talked about in 2016, it said that iatrogenic deaths, so deaths related to healthcare, medications, or medical errors, were now the third leading cause of death, right behind the top two killers, which are cardiovascular disease and cancers. So now medical error or problems or complications like catching an infection in the hospital, now we're the third leading cause of death. And I think in the paper, they quoted about a quarter million deaths a year, which is quite scary. So when it comes to evaluating the risk and reward, you know, in a paper or a shock piece news article that comes out every now and then about the risks of Chinese herbs, and most of the side effects are fairly minor, that is fairly inconsequential regarding, you know, if you compare it to this big news article from Bloomberg, from Johns Hopkins about iatrogenic deaths. Now, of course, physicians and surgeons, they're treating often way more serious 
life-threatening conditions. So of course there's going to be a higher rate of death versus an acupuncturist treating someone for back pain. Of course. But I do think it's important to know that these iatrogenic deaths, which include the adverse effects of prescription drugs, the overuse of drugs, leading to potentially antibiotic resistance or drug interactions, as well as just straight up medical errors, faulty procedures, faulty equipment, faulty methods, faulty info, or in general, negligence or other hospital-based infections. So all of these fall into that category of iatrogenic. But yes, Chinese herbs and any other medical intervention that can possibly help you has real side effects. But that obviously shouldn't be something that scares you. That's the point of the training. That's why I did a four-year doctoral level training. I did an additional three or four years with people who specialize in Chinese formulas alone. And they themselves have studied with generations of doctors, including have gone through the research to understand what works, what doesn't, what can be harmful, and really what you have to watch out for. So that should be an essential part of your questions if you are seeing a practitioner. I hope that helps. I think it's a very important thing because you can easily become us first them. You know, I hate conventional care or alternative medicine is a bunch of crap. Well, they both have strengths, they both have weaknesses, and they both have problems, to be honest. That, I think, is a very important discussion that we needed to have. Now again, I've included this free PDF below this video, Li Ching Yun's Five Daily Rituals that can help you add years to your life with Chinese medicine. So check it out down there below, and then before you go, check out these two related videos right over here.